Greetings everyone, hello and welcome to Oxygen, a new city building survival game where you basically start in a wasteland and try to survive building up a big colony with, yeah, well, also some researching, of course, exploration and fighting catastrophes. The game is on a massive sale right now on Steam, so if you're interested in this, uh, have a look at the link in the video description. This is a sponsored video and I like to show you a bit of gameplay about this game and if you're interested, you might want to check it out yourself. Let's get cracking, shall we? The game offers uh, two modes for now, the tutorial where you can play along and learn the mechanics of it and we can also start a new game without a tutorial. We have a different uh, difficulty set settings here. For all of those of you that just want to relax a bit, there's also relax sandbox mode where you can just happily build along without any difficulty. We're going with a normal difficulty for this one as we can see all the parameters here that have been chosen. We can also decide between five maps at the moment, um, all of them offer different um, challenges that you can choose from and also a bit of a different biome there and of course we need to choose a name for our colony let's go ahead with a sleepy hollow and get cracking Alrighty, and here we are now in a fresh colony. We get a task right away and uh, needs to be finished in the next eight hours. Uh, this is, oh, this is putting me under pressure there right away. Let's start with the basics. Need water, food, and houses. Um, we can accept this mission here. Oh, we get three days for the deadline, right? And let's accept it for now. And then we also get kind of like a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a um, orientation, right? So we, what we need to start by building first. We can have a look at the map here real quick. It is a wasteland, obviously. And we also have uh, different things that we can see here. So we get some lakes, of course. We got some stuff here that we can scavenge. We do have uh, a few materials right now. Some metal, some gear, some bricks here that we can use for first buildings. And of course, we can use these uh, these piles here to scavenge some materials as well, like Kevlar stone and gear on this one here. Let's start by building some houses for my people. So container houses, that's some metal right away that we need to that we need to waste. Uh, we can rotate as well, and let's go ahead and just have us uh, those houses. Then yeah, I'd say right here in a block, perhaps with a bit of a distance between each other, and also on the other side of course as well. There it is, and it's going to be built now as of the moment. I can actually unpause the game as my, my colonists will now do the job. What I really like about it is that these colonists also have, of course, simulation, right? So they're not just here some assets, but they actually have a name, they have a history, they have um, wishes, they have skills, and they have needs. And in that case here, we need to fulfill all of this. Houses are being built. We can continue right away with uh, some food production, which is a fishing dock. Well, we do have good water sources right next to us. I think this one up there looks like a fresh uh, river. This one looks like a, a small dump. <laughs> so we are probably not going to take the fish out of that. Uh, let's go ahead with the, the river, even though it's a bit further away, of course. We can go ahead and just build a road all the way up to it um, to speed up the transportation time and traveling time to this area there as well. Also, a water purifier, very important as my people need to drink something. And yeah, let's build this right next to my fishing dock. I can't see a reason why this should not be possible. As we can see, the first tasks are being fulfilled right away. As everyone is going to work. I like roads to structure my settlement, so we're going ahead and having a bit of a road over there where we can then build a canteen, which would be one of my next missions. First though, we need to start uh, finish those two buildings here. And we can also check my resources there, and as I can see on metal, it's getting a bit tight now. So I'm probably also going to scavenge me some metal here. So we can assign some workforces now. We also have a workforce menu, there it is. And we can see that we get 13 people working construction right now and one in scavenging. So I have lots of people that I can send to scavenging, by the way. Because, yeah, we have lots of people available right now. There's also some gear, some stone over there. Let's get this one done. There's one person now going for it. Very good. Water purifier built and the fishing dock. However, 
they require workforce, right? -o. So let's go ahead and assign, let's make two people for the fishing docks and two people for the water purifier. And let's just hope that this is enough. Yep, and as we can see, they now have also their jobs, going about their business, scavenging, getting back to town, and then fulfilling their needs. One of them would be eating, and eating you can do in a canteen. Let's go ahead and build this a canteen. Uh, this one here, another 30 metal and 30 stone. Should be fine though, right? And let's go ahead and build this one right next to this uh, main road that we have there. Uh, perhaps with a bit more distance here. This looks fine to me. And as the canteen is being finished, we have also finished the first task here. We do gain some 25 metal, also some confidence points and 15 stone. And the canteen is now working. It looks rather cute, like a French bakery to me. And we can sign now someone to that. And he's going to sell food to my people. Also cooks it, probably. Alright, we can also check it out. Vote of confidence. We have now plus one on that. So people are, well, growing a bit confident into my leadership. And we can increase that further here by, um, yeah, fulfilling needs and tasks and buildings for my people. Also doing some exploration, stuff like that. And of course, uh, growing that population that we have right now. And as we can see, we also got two babies at the moment, right? So people are reproducing a bit. Doesn't take long for us to get a new task. Uh, let's generate some electricity. Another five days we would have for this with a gas extractor. We will also need to build a research institute or research center with that and also produce some coal on top of everything else. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Um, there's the medical post as well that I probably should build, to be honest. So this is making sure that sick people get some treatment. And we probably will see some sick people soon. So let's go ahead and build us a medical post over there. And then we can also go into my technology now with the research center, plastic and stone. We haven't used plastic so far. And yes, let's have it behind my, my main building, right? So this is my oxygen center where we produce oxygen as well with the oxygen tanks and people can then get it and yeah, breathe, which is probably their main goal right now. Uh, five workers we have, seven, uh, two on the scavenging that means only seven on the workforce left right the others are working on water and also on food not looking that great my daily statistics there by the way we have a loss of water and food all right medical post being finished and we probably will need some more metal there and plastics though we should have that too yeah resources are in so we can finish those buildings there also built, by the way, a few more roads there. A double road. That's what I like to see. By the way, we don't even have a road there. Alright, there is also my medical post. Um, we don't have any sick people yet, so I'm not going to assign anyone to this. But in the future, once we have some, uh, we should definitely go ahead and assign someone quickly. Research center coming along. There's, by the way, this huge abandoned building that we could scavenge. It has a lot of stuff in it. Also some coal. There it is. Research center. Let's assign a person to that. And this guy here, the liar, she is going now to research, right? And she's producing me research points, five per cycle. And in that case, with that, we can then start uh, researching your tech that we're going to need. Ah, water finally is a bit stable now. Uh, food, I can't say the same thing. So, after further ado, let's have a look at my research list. Um, we got a lot of things to research right now. Um, as we can see, this is the whole tech tree for the easy. Then we got the medium researches, right, that we're unlocking once we uh, get 250 science points. With that, we can open up a school, for example, some more decorations, a kitchen. And then on heart, uh, we get the battery, for example, a temple we can build. Um, and further down the road, also some Kefla suits, protection against the wasteland. 
However, for my first attack, what we need is, of course, the gas extractor. There it is, only 15 points it requires. Let's queue it up. And it's going to take a while, though, because we need to get the science points in, of course. I might consider, yeah, let's let's assign a second person to that to speed it up. Uh, food is looking not much better. It's only negative one. And it's snowing. We got everything here. Rain and snow. And of course the game has seasons. So we can look it up up here. There is uh, early winter right now. So it's getting really cold. Uh, I wonder how much it affects though my people. So their cloth durability goes down. And other than that they're pretty passive. <laughs> to be honest they... They're kind of like thinking to themselves uh, better than that, where we are right now, or perhaps not. Alright, as we can see, the first uh, science points have already been finished, and the next ones are coming along now. Ah, very good. And we see some positive balance on the food. Can't say the same thing about the water, though. I will need to assign a, second, uh, a fourth person to the water purifier, so both of them are now fully working. Yeah, it's really snowing now, and we have 15 points, so I can use this now to unlock the gas extractor. There you go. And this I can build now, but where can I build it? Well, you can see these fiery debris there. Actually, that would offer some warmth right now. Problem is, they can also explode, and we should build something on it to secure it. And a gas extractor, well, relieves the pressure. It also produces then electricity for us. So let's go ahead. And build us a gas extractor, 30 gear and 25 plastic. Uh, we do have that for now. Very good. Also, we should produce some coal. The cool thing is we have coal deposits. I think we also got some coal in here. And I wonder if it counts. So let's assign someone to that coal deposit there in the abandoned building. And probably get us the coal out. There, it's finished. We actually need to build two gas extractors, I just realized. So, I will need a second one. Yep, yeah, right next to it. Oh, I cannot build it over that. I think we need to wait until the pressure has mounted. Yep, yeah, cracks need to appear first. And yes, I'm pleased to report that produce coal is actually possible with the abandoned building. So, the one person uh, in here is now... Working towards that goal, and the gas extractor is also being finished now soon, hopefully. The first one, they take quite some time, to be honest. They have a lot of work points. But there it is, the first one. And this is now producing electricity for us. And the electricity we can then use, well, to power my buildings and produce oxygen. All right, all the way down here, we do have another crack that I can use. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a bit further away, but it should still add to my power grid. We can also have a look at it, by the way. Um, and we can see what buildings are consuming electricity right now. So the medical post and my houses and uh, what is not consuming any electricity. We can also see the same thing about oxygen, right? So here we can see what is consuming oxygen and what not. So the houses obviously do, but my workspace doesn't. Um, so people need to use tanks in order to get there. I could enable oxygen uh, production for this. This would, however, increase my electricity uh, consumption then with that. So we need to juggle that a bit. Now, the extractor is getting the resources. I think I might be running out of plastic here for sure. Let's keep them working on that and then we continue with a bit more scavenging. We also finished the coal demand. So this is something I can turn in then soon. And we get some confidence points out of that once more. Oh, and we get another task. Hello there. Let's build a submarine dock so that new people can join it by using it. Alright. And submarine dock. Sounds rather expensive. And there we have it. A dock where the submarine can drop off new people. With some metal, we can actually do this right away. And of course, we should have it by the river, of course. There you go. Let's also get a proper road to this one.
Once again, a lot of metal. We will not have enough metal then anymore. So I will need to, to get a bit more metal in. We got the metal planks and we got the normal metal. We should make sure that we take the right one. Here is only metal planks, right? So I do need to scavenge metal. And you can do this in a metal deposit. Uh, there is some normal metal here though. So let's go ahead and scavenge this. 45 it is. There's some planks here. That's it actually for now. There's some metal over there. Very good. Some raw metal. And second gas extractor has been finished. And with that, we get some coal, some metal, very good. And the confidence boost that I needed. Leading to level 2 soon. And also, I think this one now, it just needs the resources. But we don't really have a lot of people anymore, right? Four people are working in ruins and one in construction. That is not a lot. Um, I might actually consider turning away someone that is working in the coal business. Uh, we need to look for that. We got 500 coal at the moment, so I don't really need that. Right? Let's have her working there too at construction. Food and water is still looking fine for now. Yeah, it's a pretty big building. It takes a long time to finish. 1,700 construction points. But sooner or later, a new building on my river. And then we have here the submarines that will arrive. I don't know why it's submarines, uh, but it seems to be the, the way to travel these days. And with that, we still need to produce some plastic. Yep, that's actually a pretty good idea because we're low on that. So let's go ahead and assign two people to that. Those were the two people that were working construction right now. So I've got all my people assigned now to scavenging. That means no more room here for construction at the moment. Mm, let's also have a look at the event log. Nasan grew up, but he is, yeah, he's now ready to work. Very good. So we got a new person that can do something for us now. Nasan could start with some decoration. We don't have that yet. And decoration boosts the confidence of people that are in the vicinity of it, right? So let's go ahead and have one. Yeah, this pretty cool looking star by the Research Institute. Have this one over on the other side of the road. Makes sense to me. While we continue with the plastic production. So this abandoned building here is going to give me a lot of resources for a long time. Food is also fine, even though, yeah, uh, we are we're low there. Uh, we have built that one and got the plastic. We get some more rewards and some confidence, giving me the confidence level 2 that we have. And a new task right away. Let's build some decoration. And, uh, yeah, of course, it's great that we're doing this right now. Build a star. Oh, okay, nice. And I wonder if it would also um, uh, activate itself uh, retrospectively, right? So after we build it, I wonder or if we would need to build a second one. But I'd rather not think about that as we don't need to think about it. Let's reduce the plastic. Um, we still need to get some more metal out. There's metal here. Let's assign a second person to that. And I think two we have now in construction. Yes, they can focus the star. There it's coming along already. There it is. Beautiful. It even has some lighting. Also, hooray! There's a submarine coming and it's going to deliver me three people. So we probably need a bit more housing. Let's go ahead and build us another house. For that purpose, um, yeah, beside the beside my star, I think, over there. And we have finished the star. I think there's still something here. No, nah, that's fine. So the metal now. That's what I'm waiting for. So with that, a total of 20 people can live here, right? And in that case here, five more houses we have. And I think also we should have the metal now then. Takes them quite some time here. There it is. Very good. Some more resources and confidence we get. Alright, and... There it is! The first people from the submarine dock should actually arrive now. There it is! There is really a submarine popping up, up out of my river. And in that case here, delivering three people. There they are. Really good people! Husband, wife and child coming along. Or just a very small woman, that is. 
It's just a very small woman, I think. An old adult, all right. Also explains it. And with that, we have incomers, and of course, we have the housing capacity for that. Lucky us. So another house here for the space of four new residents coming into my colony, and we can grow with that. That's a gameplay preview of uh, Oxygen First Breath. If you're interested in this, have a look at the link in the description for the Steam page. Um, there's a massive discount, so the game will be below 10 euro if you're interested in that. Um, check it out, definitely. It is, it is interesting, it has a lot of content already, and I think you might like it, uh, because I like it as well, in this case here. That's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned!